Hello! If I'm wearing the same outfit as I did in the last care guide, reacting to care guide video, it's because I'm wearing the same outfit. So, let's move on. Today we are going to go over the mouse one. I was not very pleased with the hamster ones. Um, if you want to see that video, I'll leave it linked in the description below. But uh, for now, we will go over the mouse one. And the very first thing I want to mention is I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this is a baby rat, not a mouse. I'm pretty sure. Like, don't quote me, but... Looks like a baby rat to me. Um, okay, so let's just jump right into this. I don't even know what to expect. The ferret ones were pretty good. The hamster ones kind of sucked a lot. Uh, so let's see if this one kind of squeezes in the middle. I'm not sure. Mice are social, alert, and extremely active small animals. That is very true. Adult average size, three inches long. Uh, yeah, head to butt, and then if we're counting their tail, they're much longer. Um, average lifespan, up to three years with proper care. I don't know very many mice that live up to three years. Um, I say getting to two, two and a half is an awesome achievement. So I definitely wouldn't go into getting a mouse, assuming it's going to live three years if you take really good care of it, because sometimes they're just not going to live that long. Um, diet omnivores. Yep. So let's see again, just like the hamster, this doesn't have any sort of picture or anything in it, like to show a cage reference or anything. So I don't like that too much. Um, I'm also really hoping looking at this, I'm kind of, kind of thinking not, but it kind of looks like they just reused the hamster template here and set everything the same. So let's go over it. Diet. Well-balanced mouse diet consists of high-quality mouse food or lab blocks and limited amount of grains, vegetables, and fruits. Clean, fresh, filtered, chlorine-free water change daily. Do not feed chocolate, caffeine, or alcohol as these can cause serious medical conditions. First off, like I said in every video, literally why do they feel the need to include this? Like, common sense says don't give don't give chocolate, caffeine, or alcohol to any animal. Like, just don't do it, okay? Don't. Um, the water thing, I switch my water out every two days. I have multiple bottles in there, so they constantly have access to fresh water. Um, high quality mouse food or lab blocks. I wish they would give a brand. I use Missouri Rat and Mouse Blocks for my mice, and I also use it in my hamster food mixture. Um, it's very good, high quality food. Um, things to remember when feeding your mouse. Fresh food and water should always be available. I disagree. I do feed my mice daily. Um, however, I don't have them have constant access to food because they would start hoarding it and it would start going bad. So since there's 10 of them, I give them enough for all of them to eat every day. I do feed them daily. When I had less mice, I fed them less often but since there's 10 I want to make sure everyone's eating so I do feed them daily. Um, limited amount of grain, vegetables, and fruits can be given daily but you're not exceeding 10% of their diet. I don't tend to often give fruits, vegetables, uh, or grain. Sometimes I'll give like baby breast, baby, baby puff treats as a treat for them or I'll give them a mealworm as a treat or some frozen peas in the summertime. Um, I don't give fruit. I feel like it's unnecessary sugar. Um, every once in a while I'll give them a couple other vegetables too, but I definitely don't make a habit of it because I want them eating their main food. Um, vegetables and fruits not eaten within 24 hours should be discarded, obviously. Uh, mice acclimate well to average household temperatures. Yes, like any animal, don't put any cage by the window where it can get extremely cold or extremely hot without notice. Um... Habitat should be plastic, metal, or glass with an escape-proof uh, solid bottom. There should be plenty of room for the mouse to exercise and play. It's best to provide the largest habitat as possible. Um, yes, I think bigger is better as long as you're doing it right. I have a video on my channel that I'll leave linked in the description how to make a big cage work. If you have a big cage that's completely bare and there's nothing there that's going to stress the mouse or mice out 
a lot. So you need to make sure it's completely packed full of things to do and places to hide and just jam packed in there. It, like you need to make, make it full. Um, and if you do that, bigger is better. Like I have 10 girls in a 75 gallon. Um, there are people that say you can keep a group of four mice in a 10 gallon tank. I would never do that. I just wouldn't. Um, my mice are happy, active, they love their space, and I just do the cage right. So if you need an example, like I said, I'll leave that linked in the description below for you. One, two inches of bedding should be placed. I know, um, no, give them more bedding. Mice like to dig and burrow and, uh, have fun. I give my mice between four and six inches of bedding in different places of their cage. They like to bury under it and hide and make nests and tunnels and burrows. So definitely give them more. I like to use Aspen with my mice because it absorbs urine the best. However, paper bedding is okay. Um, but when I use paper bedding, I definitely have to clean the enclosure much more frequ frequently, which means wasting a lot more when the Aspen um, absorbs pee so it's easier to spot clean. Um. Again, don't use cedar or pine. Don't use undisclosed woods like hardwoods or softwoods. Um, that's just coming from me. This doesn't say that, obviously. Um, mice can be kept in same-sex pairs that have been raised together. No. No, 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 no. Unneutered male mice need to be kept alone. They're very territorial. Females need to be kept in at least pairs, but trios are way better because then they can have a hierarchy. If you can get males neutered, they will go with females. They're very social. If you're going to get a single male mouse, you're going to have to give that mouse so much attention because they're so social. Living by itself is kind of mean. And then females, you obviously don't want to put an unneutered male mouse because then you'll have lots and lots of babies. Um, and females need to be in groups. So it doesn't matter if two males were born together and never left each other's sides. They will start fighting and it can result in death. Um, normal behavior, they're nocturnal. Yes, I all my mice have different sleep schedules, like certain of them. I'll see up later in the morning and certain of them I'll see get up earlier in the evening time. So it just depends. Um, they're very curious. They like to burrow, hide in objects and play easily frightened by loud noises. Um, it literally says they like to burrow and they're suggesting you put one inch of bedding. So that's cool. Um, two objects to maintain incisors, which grow constantly. I 110% agree. I've never bought more chew toys in my entire life. They go through them like that. Oh like that they go through them so fast i'll put a chew toy in there and it's like it disappears so they need a lot of chew toys i mean yes i do have 10 mice so that's like a lot but um clean and disinfect again this says the three percent bleach solution the hamster one said i would just use either um a small animal cage cleaning that the pet store sells or um, a vinegar water solution. I wouldn't use bleach because if you don't get all the bleach out and the hamster licks it, it can, or sorry, we're talking about mice, and the, one of the mice lick it, they can get sick and it can cause illness, so I wouldn't risk it. Uh, mice stay clean and rarely need baths. Males have stronger odor than females, but can be spot cleaned with damp washcloths or unscented baby wipes. I've never had to clean one of my mice. They clean themselves. They clean each other. Um, my mice are, or actually all mice, are actually very, very clean animals. Um, males do have a stronger odor than females. They scent mark a lot more. One male mouse, I've heard, is worse than a big group of female mice. So take that as you will. I don't know. I haven't ever had a male mouse, but I'm just letting you know. Um, it is normal for a mouse's teeth to be yellow. I think all rodents' teeth are normally yellow and consult a veterinarian if the mouse's teeth are too long, obviously. So, signs of a healthy animal, active, alert, sociable, eats, drinks regularly, healthy fur, clear eyes, breathing is unlabored, walks normally. They literally just like copy and pasted all of these together and then changed like one word in each thing, which is horrible 
like I have these right here because I just filmed them. Syrian hamsters, dwarf hamsters, and mice are not the same animal. They have different care needs. Um, all of these red flags and common health issues basically for animals not acting normal. Take it to the vet. Easy peasy. Um, and then we'll go through the shopping list here. Appropriate sized habitat. It has absolutely no information on what an appropriate sized habitat is. Um, like I said, personally think the biggest thing you can completely fill to the brim is going to be the best. Um, I don't have a specific gallon recommendation or square inch size like I did for hamsters. Um, I don't know. I think bigger is always better. I think if you can can give your mice a really big nice size home that you should you just need to make sure you fill it up so they don't stress them out um high quality mouse food again i use missouri round mouse blocks this fails to mention any sort of brand treats bedding nesting fluff again no stay away from the nesting fluff food bowl water bottle scatter feeding is way better um and i provide multiple water bottles my 10 girls have three water bottles. I would like to give them more, um, but I just don't have any right now and I fill those up every two days. So they're always full of fresh water. Exercise wheel, again, you wanna have multiple. If you have the flying saucer kind, two mice can run in there at the same time. So I actually have four of those in my tank. Or do I have three right now? I have three or four of those in my tank and then I have two Ferris wheel wheels. And mice need at least a uh, eight inch wheel because of their tail. You don't want their tail wrapping up around. Um, the flying saucer ones, I think the ones I have are six and a half inches, which is fine because their tail can just be straight off the edge. Hideaway place, toys, wood shoes, mineral shoes. I don't know what these mineral shoes are and why Petco wants us to buy them so bad, but I don't use them and I've never heard someone talk about them either. Chew tubes, again, no idea what that is. And then this infamous book about mice because apparently Petco also sells books. I just want to show you real quick. Uh, first off, I hate all of these rodent care guides, all of them, I hate them all. Um, but I also wanted to show you here. If I cover up the species, look at these lists. You literally wouldn't be able to tell which one is for which animal. What? Why is, why are all of these care guides exactly the same? Like who got lazy and couldn't type up a couple extra things? So annoying, so absolutely annoying. I am really unpleased with the rodent care guides. I actually didn't think the hamster or the ferret one was that bad. However, all of the rodent ones I've con covered suck and I would not use any of those and I would not suggest any of them. Um, if you want me to do care guides on any of my animals, please let me know and I will start putting together all of the information from what to know before you get one to what you need shopping list to appropriate care and feeding and I will go very in depth so please let me know if you want me to do care guides on any of my animals I definitely can um those care guides sucked and until next time I hope you have a great day bye